So if you have a dog, that means you love your dog, and that means you care about a new study that's looking at ways to keep your dog around longer. And guess what? The study is happening right here in North Texas. It is called the Dog Aging Project. It's all new for you here at Five. Our Nicole Nielsen explaining what the study is about and why researchers think it could be a game changer for your pet. This is Crawl. He's an American pit bull, and he just turned nine in December. Ron and Crawl have an inseparable bond. He's a... Uh... Made me a, a better person, kind of kind of saved me a little bit. Adopted from a local shelter seven years ago, they do everything together, something many pet owners can relate to. So when Ron heard about the dog aging project, he didn't hesitate to get involved. Thought, well, why not? I can just be a statistic and maybe help other dogs out in the future. The project, led by researchers at Texas A&M and the University of Washington, enrolls dogs of all breeds and backgrounds to gain a better understanding of aging. Part of their testing includes a study on the drug rapamycin, commonly used during human organ transplant. Dr. Kate Creevy is co-founder of the project and says previous studies suggest rapamycin may improve heart and cognitive function, mobility, and potentially extend their lifespan. Though the drug isn't a miracle. Yes, yeah, so we're not talking dogs living forever here. No, unfortunately. She says the goal isn't just a longer life by a few years, but also a healthier one. So far, 170 dogs are participating in the trial, and with a new $7 million federal grant, they're hoping to expand to 580 dogs. They encourage North Texas pet owners to give it a look. If the trial proves effective, it could pave the way for similar treatments in humans. This is a really important example of community science. The people collecting the scientific data for the Dog Aging Project are dog owners. They're everyday folks, right? Science doesn't have to happen in some ivory tower, some research institution. Science is happening all the time, all around us. Krull has been a part of the trial for the last two years, but Ron won't know if he's been receiving rapamycin or the placebo until the study concludes. Still, he has no regrets. They're only here for a short time, and that's not fair to us. The longer they can stick around, the better. In Frisco, Nicole Nielsen, CBS News, Texas.